Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Punja Pie, and I want to make a video to help you know some of my subscribers. You know, most of you probably don't need this, or you might do. You know, um, basically, I'm going to show you how to get a program that will speed up your computer a little bit, um, free up a lot of RAM and CPU usage, and get you better performance in RS and in other stuff. You know, so um, basically. Just go on to uh, Google Chrome, or you know whatever you're using. You should be using Google Chrome there. <laughs> um, type in Game Booster, and it's on the IOBit website. Click um, free download from Game Booster 3, and it'll take you onto this website. Exit the old one, and you want to get Game Booster 5 because it's a little bit better than. Um, I mean, sorry, Game, Bo Game Boost uh, 3.5 rather than 3.4 because, you know, it's just a bit better, really. So, um, click download. It shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. So, yeah, when that's downloaded, um, go to the folder where it is, exit your browser, and click install it shouldn't take very long so yeah just click next you agree and yep yep you want to create an icon so you know it's easy to get to and this shouldn't be long at all so yeah basically what the program does is your computer runs lots of things in the background that you don't know about um, and this basically just keeps everything in order sorry if I keep saying basically a lot <laughs> so yeah just click finish and launch the game yeah just click run and you have a little um, window that comes up here it's kinda useful you know it tells you your temperatures of your CPU and hard drive and stuff so um if you're not you know very technical with computers you can just leave it now and um you know click start boost and minimize it and use it like that or if you kind of know what you're doing which I kind of do a little bit um click configure now this comes up with a list of like I said before all the little things that your computer's doing um like you can see um, if you if none of this makes sense to you, then you just want to click apply and leave it, so you don't mess anything up. So, um, but if you do, you know, keep watching. So I'm gonna keep keep a tube catcher there because I need it. Um, this is all Norton Norton internet stuff. Um, desktop manager, you, yeah, kind of need that. Um, what else do we have here? Um, yep, that looks all good. And on your computer, this might look a little bit different. ArcSoft, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that. Don't need that. Um, don't need these. Um, I'm actually, I think I'll, I'll leave my internet security stuff. Um, that's all good as well. So click apply and then go on to settings and then advanced and now this is basically if you want to use hotkeys like if you want to use keys on your keyboard to make it come into gaming mode rather than opening the program and clicking it through that way so you still need the program running but you can just exit and um, enter gaming mode whenever you want to using keys I've, s I've got mine so it's control alt and g for gaming mode and control alt and n for normal mode so and you can just exit that there press control alt and g and there you go your computer is now running faster you won't get as much lag you get better fps and um you know generally your computer should should feel faster so um thanks for watching i'll see you in